The Mix Pre M series are all 12 track recorders, but you will have noticed that none of the models have 12 knobs. So how do you adjust the balance of 12 tracks? Well, we have a really clever system called fader bank switching, which allows you to switch between the various tracks. And it's as easy as touching the LCD. Now notice as I touch the LCD, you'll see a white box surrounding groups of tracks. In the case of the 6M, they are grouped in fours. So one through four, five through eight, and nine through 12. On the 3M, the Mix Pre 3M, they are grouped in groups of three tracks. On the 10M, you have two groups, one covering groups uh, tracks one through eight, and one covering tracks nine through 12. Now to switch between the banks, you'll notice, I touch the screen, and then you'll notice that the ring LED surrounding certain knobs starts pulsing orange. This is telling you that the current physical position of the fader knob is not set to the fader level of that track. Now, if you don't know which way to turn the knob to find the previously stored value, it tells you in the top of the LCD here in orange text. And here it's telling me my current position is at minus 14 dB, and I need to find the previously stored value of minus three dB. So I'm gonna turn it clockwise, and as I find that value, the orange LED goes out, and we now have, now the physical fader knob will control the actual mix level. And this way, as I switch banks, I'm not gonna suddenly get changes in my, my mix level, because it's not gonna actually make the change to the mix level until I've found that previously stored value.